going on everybody? Mike Hill Hobbies here. Got a special one for you. I got a bag full of goodies. I got some Teflon tape, a couple wrenches, some PVC glue, some files, some drill bits. We're gonna build a snow making gun. This weekend is Christmas weekend and we are gonna hit 29 degrees with humidity less than 70%. Matter of fact, it's supposed to be about 55% humidity. So when you take those numbers and you do a wet bulb calculation, we're gonna be about 24% or degree wet bulb, which means we can make snow here. Let's get into it. Okay, here's a mock-up if you wanna make the one that I'm making. If you wanna make this out of galvanized pipe or brass pipe, definitely go ahead and do that. You're gonna be able to hook up a pressure washer to it if you do that. I am just going for the garden hose hookup. So I'm using PVC, uh, it's rated at 600 PSI. Uh, if you wanna use a pressure washer, I definitely suggest going with some metal pipe. So everything is half inch piping here. I've got one five inch piece, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 pieces at two inches long. One, two, three caps, one elbow, one, two, three, two, three T's, one, two, three half inch valves. I have one, two, uh, slip to half inch NPT thread. I have a backflow preventer on my water side. So you're gonna hook air up here. I don't wanna backfeed air into the water in my house, okay? I have one coupling right here. If you go to the sprinkler section in your home store, you can find this fitting right here. It's half inch NPT to a garden hose fitting. Over here, I have a reducer this is half inch to three eighths. And then I have a three eighths air chuck fitting right here, which is gonna go into my air hose for my air compressor. Some of these fittings go down to quarter inch. It's just whatever you have. Mine happen to be three eighths. I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything up exactly as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get all this threaded together with some pipe tape. I'm gonna get this threaded together with some pipe tape. I'm gonna glue all this up. Make sure you use primer and glue. I do have three extra caps, just in case these holes that I'm gonna drill for these don't work out. I've got some extra caps and some extra pipe that I can cut off and put these caps on there. I have a 64th drill bit. I'm gonna drill some holes in here to act as nozzles. If that doesn't work, on standby, I have some 16th inch drill bits so I can make the holes bigger. I have a needle file set with the triangle file right here. So once I drill my hole in the cap, I'm gonna take the file and I'm gonna just lightly file it out so it will make a fan pattern coming out of the hole. I really would like to do everything out of galvanized or brass piping and get the high pressure nozzles, but it's Wednesday and Christmas is this weekend, uh, so I don't have time to get those nozzles in. This is the route I'm gonna go.
So here I have a 64 drill bit. I'm going to drill a hole straight in here, straight in here, and straight in here. Then I'm going to drill a hole angled down. Then I'm going to drill a hole angled down. And over here I'm going to drill a hole angled up. Actually on the top one, I'm gonna drill a hole going this way. So while you're looking at this thing, water's coming in here, air's coming in here. We got a shut off valve for our water. We got a shut off valve for our air and we have a shut off valve for our mixing, okay? So I've got my holes drilled in my makeshift nozzles. Now I'm gonna take this angled file and on those holes, I'm just barely gonna file on these to create like a fan pattern. So if you look at the tip of some pressure washer nozzles, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you don't have any, just Google it and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. This is PVC, so the filing is gonna go quick. Be careful. Now I'm gonna go in a cross pattern this way. I'm not gonna go up and down like the, like the gun is going like this. I'm not gonna file my fan patterns this way. I'm gonna file them this way on all the holes because the effect that the air is gonna have when it starts pushing the water out of this nozzle up towards these top two is gonna make the fan close in it's just the effect that it does i forget the uh the law that it that that is you can see i have a slight file on those holes in hopes that that gonna is going to help fan this a little bit if it doesn't fan i'm just going to come back and file some more i just don't want to go too much and end up making that hole bigger than what it is and if I need the hole bigger, like I said, I've got some 16th inch drill bits on standby. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is hook your water hose up to here. Open this valve, let the water start spraying out. You can open this valve and let the water start spraying out. Hook your air up to here. Water, for me, I'm on a well, so I'm gonna be anywhere between about 40, three to 60 PSI at my house. If you're on city water, you're probably gonna be around 50 to 60 PSI. Uh, so my air, I'm gonna just let my air compressor come all the way up and I'm gonna regulate it. I have a regulator on my compressor. I'm gonna regulate it about 45 PSI. So once I have water coming in, shooting out of here and out of here, open this up, let it come out of here and then I have my air hooked up. I'm gonna slowly open this up and let it start atomizing inside of here. And that should start pumping snow out as soon as the wet bulb temperature meets the requirements. If you need to, go to Google and type in wet bulb calculator. It's gonna show you temperature and humidity. Just check the temperature and the humidity for your location. And as long as you're in those uh, specific ranges in order to make snow, this should work for you. Now, like I said, it's gonna work much better if you use galvanized or brass piping and you get the high pressure nozzles. Maybe even if you use a, like a 60 and a couple 40s um, pressure washer nozzles, 
but I think this would work better with the high pressure nozzles. You know, they're stainless steel and you can make everything uh, bulletproof for using a pressure washer hookup. That way you get a lot more pressure inside of here. But this PVC is rated for 600 PSI. So I'm going garden hose fitting here. So this is gonna be it. Now, when you look at the wet bulb calculator, if you're in a moderate zone, in the moderate zone for making the snow, you're gonna have more of a heavy, icy type snow. And then the higher you get up on the chart into the freezing zones with less humidity, you're gonna get that nice, fine snow. I don't care what kind of snow I get. I just wanna make snow. Uh, my kids are gonna love it. I'm in Florida and actually my kids have only seen snow I believe once. Well, there you have it. That's my build on this. Hopefully this thing's gonna work. I don't know for sure until we get the temperature at the right wet bulb in order to even try it. I am gonna go ahead and hook water and air up to it and see how it sprays, but I'm not gonna be able to know anything about making snow until the temperature and the humidity is within those ranges. This is the snow gun that I have made out of PVC with a brass backflow preventer. Uh, if you don't, if you're using the garden hose, I suggest using a backflow preventer so you don't put air back into your house water. Uh, and then my air fitting with the galvanized reducer. So you're going to want this thing, the water side coming in up top, air on the bottom, and you can either aim it like this or get it up as high as you can. Put it on top of a ladder, just clamp it to it. Uh, the, the higher you have this, the better it's going to be as long as you're within that wet bulb range. The more fall that your snow has, the better chance it's going to crystallize and land on the ground as a snowflake. All right, let's try this thing. All right, this is going to be it. It's really loud because the compressor's on, but uh, here we go. Got the water open. It goes here. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I am excited. Tomorrow night, we're going to be ready to make snow. And the next day, we're going to be ready to make snow because we're going to be within those parameters for the wet bulb temperature. Go out and make this if you can. Anywhere you are that's getting cold enough and you're not going to get snow, you can make it. Merry Christmas.